In this tutorial, we will see how you can use constraint toolbar. Constraint toolbars are used to give specific angle, length, radius, etc. for your geometries which you created previously in Sketcher. For example, if I create, don't worry about this geometry, I can select this line, go for the constraint definition, go for vertical. Same thing can be done for all the verticals. Same thing for the whole, all horizontal. So, for example, one, two, three, four. Make sure all of them are horizontal. And I have another option to set the length between the lines. For example, if I give 50 mm over here, I could give the same here as well. So, in this way, I could uh, give dimensions. For example, if I want to, if I want an angle between these two lines, I could use the constraint toolbar. I could select these two lines here and give an angle here. So, for example, 70, that creates an angle. So, if I was doing, if I had the vertical constraint over here and this was horizontal, then definitely an angle is not possible between these two lines. So, as you can see, I'll get a blue color 90 degree. That means it's over constrained. Either of one constraint has to be removed so that this sketch passes for other features. Either I have to delete the vertical or I have to delete this 90 degree or this horizontal. So, one of these is deleted, the problem is solved. We have another option called as Edit Multi Constraint. So this can be used based on how clean you have maintained your sketch. So you have all the different constraints which you have created in this sketch. And if you have given proper namings for uh, the different constraints and different geometries in this, then you will be able to track and change the dimensions at a shot in this win window. So changing the names, I will be covering that option in the future. So let's see how and what we could learn in the future. Thank you so much. Stay tuned.